Rose. Thanks for stopping by um, and seeing our video. So we're going to explain the NFS system today. And I will do a video explaining all the systems. But I thought I'd start today with the NFS system because as it turns out, I got some strawberry plants in the mail yesterday and they need to be planted. So this is our NFS system. Um, our salad tower, but really I'll show you that you could use any system. They're really easy to make at home, um, and you can even use a fish tank if you want. But because I got the strawberries, let's take a second, and before I get into the NFS system and what it does and what it can do and can't do and all that, why don't we take a second and I'll show you the strawberries, how I got them, and how I got to this point. So this is a net cup, which is just, this is a two inch opening on top. Um, and they come with like a little cross member on the bottom so your plants and, and your plant medium can be held up um, within a system. Because I'm transplanting some nice strawberry plants that just came in the mail, um, I need to uh, feed the root system through these little holes on the bottom. And although the cup size is perfect, the bottom it's kind of tough to um, put the root system through. So I have a little trick where I cut just two of the little squares, just with a normal pair of scissors. Uh, cut the little two, two of the pieces of cross member and you bend it over. Then you get out one of your little plants. In this case, I'll just use this one. Um, so here's a little strawberry plant that came in the mail. Um, try and feed this through the bottom. It would be really tough because obviously you have all those roots. So. What I do is I bend this through, slide the plant in this way, and then to make sure the plant is going to stay secure, I spread the roots out just a little bit on the bottom um, and kind of bend this back into place. So the, it's kind of hard to see, but you can see that the little cup is um, kind of back into its original form. Um, and that'll give the plant, if you tug on the roots here, That'll give the plant some stability. We'll put some stuff up here too to stabilize it. But the plant's not going to fall through the bottom, but I haven't damaged the roots putting the plant into the net cup. Because um, obviously your roots are um, something you want to keep healthy and happy. Okay, it's been a few minutes and I have all the strawberry plants all in the net cups and they're ready to go into a system. And you can see that some of the net cups are more um, than others, but they all should work out pretty well. Okay, in an NFS system, at least the ones I like, um, we use clay balls, and these are just what they sound like. They are little balls of uh, hardened clay. Um, because of that, they tend to be really dusty, so whether you're reusing them or whether you have them for the first time and you have brand new ones, you really want to rinse them off um, because that clay dust will definitely clog your pumps and it's just going to be a mess. Um, so just give them a quick rinse with you know warm water, um, nothing fancy, there's no special thing. They, um, these are pH neutral, so there's no preparation really needed um, other than just to rinse them off so they're not full of that clay dust. Once you rinse them well, you don't even really have to drain them. Just rinse them and they're ready to go in your system. Hi, so this is the unit I was standing in front of a second ago. Um, this is the back of it. And I think this really demonstrates um, how an NFS system works. So this is one of the reasons I chose to use this system today. Um, but um, again, there are a lot of different ways to do this. If you've ever been driving around or searching the internet and you saw the white PVC pipes with the holes in them, that's an NFS system. NFS system basically means that there's a reservoir of water or nutrient solution. The reservoir pumps, there's a pump in there, and the pump pumps it up into basically a channel system. So we have a, a reservoir with nutrient solution, a pump. The pump feeds these lines. The solution goes into the bottom of any kind of um, basically channel and it just is a small bit of solution that runs down and the plants are sitting on the inside. NFS or NFT actually stands for nutrient film solution and basically this is what it is. It's a little film or a little uh, reservoir flowing of nutrient solution and they call this a film. So the nutrient solution goes up it flows through, the plants grab what they need, the roots are in this, they grab what they need, and then the water goes back down, back into your reservoir. 
couple great things about this type of system. One, you have easy access to the reservoir. And what that means is anytime you need to change the water, um, add nutrient solution, check the pH, all that stuff, it's really easy access. Um, just whatever you're using, just make sure you can get at it and it's easy to test. Um, the other nice thing about this system is that um, it usually gives your roots lots and lots of nutrients. Because it's a constant flow system, the nutrients are never running short. So as long as your solution is good here, the plants will grow really well. Um, so let's take a look at the front of this for a second again. Okay, so I apologize for camera motion, but this is really the best way to show you. So this is the front of the unit again, and I left one of the chambers empty so that you guys could take a look. So here's the water coming through here, comes in here, just runs through the channel, and then down back into the tub. One of the very most important things I've learned about NFS systems is that your roots will grow huge. They're getting all the nutrients they need, they're going to go really healthy and big. Um, so it's hard to kind of see, but there's a screen here. As you can tell, there's the hole, the ball is not going through. There's a screen here. You really need to make sure that there's plenty of room for your roots to um, grow and make sure that the roots will not go back down into the channel that goes into the solution because, speaking from experience, the roots will clog any return channel. So make sure the return channel is really big and it's screened so the roots don't grow there. Okay, so let's talk about what um, every hydroponic system needs and what the NFS system needs or NFT system needs specifically. So every system is going to need some uh, water nutrient solution. Um, really, you can use anything you want. Um, the stuff you use out in the regular garden is fine. The secret here is to make sure that it's going to stay suspended. So whether it's miracle Grow or some organic solution that you have, compost tea, doesn't really matter. Whatever you like the best and whatever your plants are going to like the best, just make sure that it stays suspended in water. And I will do a whole uh, video on just nutrient solutions. And then remembering also that your plants need air. In this little system, there's like a little air pocket that's created um, between the water and the top. And as long as the roots have access to air and the nutrient solution, um, they're going to be happy and healthy. So these little plants I'll plant someplace else um, later on. But I just wanted to show you that, yes, air is really important, otherwise your roots will drown. And in the NFS system that we were doing, the air basically is coming from those balls. So the roots will grow around the balls, but the balls, because obviously they're balls, um, they aren't going to lay flat and compact and there'll always be air in there. So with the NFS system that we have going here, you have the water solution coming through the tubes and you have the air pockets by, uh, developed from the balls. A couple things that you need to re always remember about running these systems, any system, any hydroponic system. Two most important things, um, I've had a lot of systems that I've seen fail because they forget these two important things. First thing is pH. You need to make sure your pH is proper for your plants. In this case, strawberry plants, um, they like a pH around 6% or uh, 6.0. So a um, really great way to test that, honestly, is just get some aquarium test strips. These you can get at Walmart for like $5. Um, the aquarium test strips, they aren't going to be real, real accurate, but they're going to be close enough and the plants usually like a range. So for the money, it's worth it. And what you want to do is you want to test your um, pH probably every few days depending upon what you're growing because as the plants suck out the nutrients out of the water um, it will change the pH and a high or low pH can definitely affect the growth of the plants so always always check your pH um, and I'll do another video on how to raise and lower your pH but it's pretty easy um, to do that in a number of different ways just lemon juice or stuff like that will help them lower. I actually have one of these handy dandy special um, pH pens. These are available in most hydroponic stores. Um, this gives you a much more accurate reading. Not really necessary um, because most plants live pretty happily in a range. Um, but if you're going to get into hydroponics in any great serious way, you might want to get a pen. They run about 50 bucks, but they're useful. Um, so now we have our solution. We have our air. We have our water. Um, the last thing we need to talk about is heat. 
all hydroponic systems, the water temperature needs to stay in the 72, 74 de uh, degree range. If the water temperature falls too low, the plants just simply they'll die. Um, so whether you're inside and your temperature in your house is warm and cozy, you have to check the water temperature because the water flowing through these systems will cool off. So what I do is I literally have a, um, this is an aquarium heater. These things are preset, I think, for 74 degrees. Um, water submergible. Just put it in the water, plug it in, and forget about it. And that will always keep the temperature at that mid-70, 72 to 74 degree temperature. Um, really important. I've run some systems, and I've seen some systems running without the, the temperature um, being at that 70-ish degrees, and the plants, they, they just can't take it. It's like trying to plant your plants outside when it's, you know, March in New England. It just, they won't grow well. So air temperature doesn't matter as much, um, but water temperature is really important. So get your heater in there. Um, Always check your pH, make sure it's in range for the, the plants that you need. Use any kind of solution that you want, and we'll run the NFS system. So when you talk about an NFT or an NFS system, um, most of the time they come like this. These are PVC pipes, it's just a standard PVC pipe. Um, there's hundreds of do-it-yourself projects for these systems online, and they're all good. Um, so what happens is, is the nutrient solution flows through the bottom of this and because it's round it stays right in the center it's a really nice way to do it nice and easy these are readily available in your home depot um, you just need to cut a hole my issue and my caution with these and I use them these are mine right here um, is that always get a pipe bigger than you think you're going to need um, and I'll demonstrate why in a second but basically um, just take a plant and you put it in and you can see the cup sits in the nutrient solution will run through the bottom um, back and circulate through the system so they grow really nicely in here um, all the positives about the NFS system which is that you have easy easy access to your water solution um, and you can change out plants obviously very easily easy to clean maintain just again caution this is an, actually a three inch one and this is the kind I like better um, just a small demonstration here. I take one of my strawberry plants that we just planted. I put it in here and you can see and I'll show you a better you can see better there. You can see where there is lots of room for the cup um, to sit and the roots to grow and expand and just you know there's room to grow essentially. You wouldn't want to put a normal plant in a really small pot. You certainly don't want to put one of these in a uh, tube that's too small because it will flood and that's never a good situation. So this is a three inch, there's my strawberry. Three inches are really good for um, pretty much any plant that you're going to, that flowers, are, that's gonna fruit. So um, anything that you go out and pick, this is good for. This is a, uh, I think that's actually one and a half. Um, this is really, really good for greens. And I, I will even, I'll pull this put the strawberries in there and as you can see if I put it up to the kind of to the light the cup doesn't even fit down it's just too big and the strawberry plant hasn't even grown yet so this is just too big for this system so um, just to repeat myself great systems but especially the ones you see online for sale they tend to be really small if you're growing just greens lettuce kale whatever um, two inches fine anything bigger than that three or four inches good um, and we'll talk about Dutch buckets in my next video but anything bigger than some smaller squashes or strawberries or something small with um, you really need to go with Dutch buckets but the NFS system is great if you go with a big enough pipe so I apologize for the lighting and the motion in this one but I just wanted to show you that NFS which is nutrient film system can really run off anything my nutrient solution is actually my fish tank in this case and then you can see that there's a black pipe that's my rabbit there's a black pipe running up to feed the water table the water flows through this table and back out the pvc pipe on the other side and back into the fish tank so it really doesn't matter what you use as a nutrient solution as long as whatever you're using is feeding your plants. And this is a table versus a pipe. 
but it's exactly the same type of system. So in conclusion, an NFS or an NFT system is a nutrient flow system. As long as there's nutrients flowing to the bottom of a tube or a channel of some kind, then it's an NFS system. These systems are great for growing anything that needs a lot of nutrients. Small vegetables, peppers, um, squash is really well in this. A um, couple of things to keep in mind though. Um, one, you want to always make sure that your root ball is not going to clog up your system, whether it's clogging up the drain or the pipe itself. A lot of times you'll see PVC pipes with the NFS system. You want to make sure that there's only a small film of water going on the bottom. That's the film. There's a big, group of, a big pocket of air because your roots need air. And you want to make sure that the root ball when it's at full grown, isn't going to clog that system. I've had it happen more than once. Um, hydroponic plants tend to have really great root balls. So if you think your root ball is going to be the size of an orange, it's really going to be the size of a grapefruit. And you better make sure that there is enough room for everything in whatever vessel you choose, whether it's a table, um, a system like this, or a PVC pipe. Um, so as long as you have air, you're good. As long as you have the nutrient flowing along just the bottom, great. A couple other things to keep in mind, remember the heat is really important. You always want to keep your water temperature in the 70 range, 74, 72, something like that. Um, check your pH because the, these plants will drink a lot of this fluid. So every time you refill the fluid, you need to check the pH. Uh, pH will kill plants, high pH, low pH is not good. Um, that's about it. If you have any questions or comments, please um, write them. I would love to hear from you guys. Also, um, take a look at my blog. It's at duckygrows.com. There's a link to it. Um, there's a lot more information on the blog. Um, thanks for watching and please subscribe if you'd like. Thanks.